Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Whoa, first card out, I can't even get out the words, is secretly stalking. Curious about you, not over you, checking your social media. So first thing that's coming forward is there's somebody around you right now that is very curious with what you have going on. What does your day-to-day -day look like? Um, what is your energy? This is somebody that is very, very curious about you and wants to know more about what you have going on in your situation. This can be a secret admirer. This can also be your person because it's it's interesting. I feel like right now, and maybe because it's Libra season, happy birthday, all you beautiful Libras, but it seems like there's a heavy emphasis right now on relationships and you've sparked, I feel like, a lot of people's curiosity as to really who you are, what makes you tick. And I also feel like, too, people are very curious right now to get to know the real you. I don't know why, but they use the, the verbiage, the real you. So whether that's you outside of work, whether that's you within your family dynamic um there's just somebody here that's watching i also feel like too though if you guys were in a relationship um or even if you guys are kind of seeing somebody or if there's somebody on your mind this person hasn't forgot about you um and it seems like they're keeping their distance and they're watching you from afar because they're trying to plan or strategize as to when to come forward and exactly how to approach you. If you have social media, they're checking it frequently. If you live next to this person, they may be driving by your house. There's somebody also here really worried about you moving or about you leaving and them not knowing where you're going. For some of you, this is definitely an ex that's really, really upset with how exactly everything's transpired. I just keep getting like, I should have done things differently. So for some of you, this is a person, a new person that's watching you. For others of you, this is an ex. You could have both. Um, and or type of energy, but there's definitely something around you right now with whatever you're posting. People are watching very closely. Wow. Okay. Also too, what you may not notice is that you have a significant love offer coming in. Now, regardless if this is from the person that you want the love offer from, there's somebody here that really does admire you. And there's something here that's very sincere about whatever this person is coming forward and offering you. But I do feel like they had to watch you for a period of time. And there's something here about this love that they're offering you being very pure, being very real. It could come in as a gift. So they could buy you something. They could send you flowers or this could even be this significant expression of love. It's definitely coming in as like a page of cups energy because I feel like you're going to be relatively surprised or shocked or taken back by whatever is offered to you. Because I see you going, really? Hey, like, I don't know. It's either a message that surprises you. It's something that this person is going to do that in their own way, is going to let or acknowledge how they feel. And you're going to also realize that this person is watching you very significantly. There's also somebody here for some of you that's really been working on their self. So really working on their mental health. This is somebody, if they are working on their mental health, this is something that you would be very surprised about is what they said. Because this is somebody that typically isn't interested or probably was never interested in therapy, in counseling, in hypnotherapy. Um, you may be a therapist, a counselor, a psychiatrist. It's coming in as like very healthcare energy or self-help. So maybe you're, you know, in the self-help care. Maybe you're a nurse, a doctor, a physician. Um, even physical therapy. There's something here where your person is really working on 
the issues that they had from their childhood or from their inner childhood wounding that is trying to get them to be more comfortable in their own skin with making you this offer. Because I feel like this is somebody that's wanted you for a period of time, but it's been either a um, a solar plexus issue where this person had an, um, struggled with their level of confidence, but they want to come in and they want to make you an offer. For some of you, this person coming in to make you an offer is also why you have people watching you. Now, I am going to say this as well. I feel like there's a lot of family members that are watching you. That could be your family, your person's family. There's just a lot of attention around or associated to you right now. The collective. Now, some people say, well, what is a collective? The collective is kind of like a vibration or it's like a frequency. So imagine a map, right? There's people that are collected in different areas, whether you're in Arizona, maybe you're in Texas, maybe you're in New York, maybe you're California, maybe you're Florida. It's a collective group of people that are going through the same thing. So similarly to how we go through weather changes, it's the same as the collective. So that's why one reading will resonate for a multitude of people because we are on the same frequency typically, or whatever the collective energy is, whoever is watching this reading, whatever they're collectively going through is going to come out in the cards. Now, there's a lot of worry over this love offer, okay? And the reason that there's a lot of people that are concerned or a lot of people that are worried is because this is going to change everything. For some of you, your life is getting ready to change drastically, I also feel like, too, your person is getting ready to make some type of very significant sacrifice here. Um, this could be in a financial sense. This could be in a friendship sense. But people are very worried at whatever this individual is going to come offer you. They're very worried about this. About this new cycle, about this new beginning. This um, full eclipse... This new moon eclipse, right, that happened uh, recently in Libra, it was very significant. What it did was it aligned your person with who they want to be and who they need to be. What it did is it reshifted your person's focus and it changed the narrative from I can't to I can. And if I don't, then I'm going to have this regret forever. So with your person... They want to come forward to make this offer. They're stepping into a brand new cycle. This new cycle isn't just even, oh, it's a new cycle for, you know, we're going to talk. We're going to get back to talking and then we're going to go to the next level. No, this is something where your person knows exactly what they want. They want you and they're coming forward to make you a love offer because they know in order for their own mental health that they have to be able to speak their truth to you. But again, because your person is changing and because your person is evolving, I feel like there's a lot of watching. And in this watching, there's a lot of gossip. This may be gossip around you. This could be um, even within inside of your friends and family, right? Like, what are you doing? Why are you so quiet? What's going on? But there's somebody here that is very worried about whatever level you're getting ready to step into. This could be somebody that views you as competition. This is also, I feel like somebody that, I get that there's just a lot of talk, which also with it being Libra season, you know, that's kind of normal, I feel like. But there's a lot of gossiping, I feel like going on between you and this person. There is somebody here that either you have unrequited love for or your person may. Because I feel like there's conversations going on from your end and and your person's end. So you may even feel like your your ears burning or your ears could be ringing. Um for me and everybody has their own thing. If my left ear is ringing, somebody's talking good about you. If your right ear rings, somebody's talking negatively about you. But it's definitely coming in here like with this energy. She's talking to um, this person's 
um, right ear. So it seems like there's just a lot of negativity or a level of gossip that's kind of circling around this connection. Let's find out what exactly they're saying. But we may need to dive deeper into this, into the extended, because I really want to focus on what your person is going through. There's something here about them dotting their I's and crossing their T's with this new cycle, with this love offer. This is something that's very planned out. I see your person either sitting in front of a laptop or on a phone, either booking trips or watching or trying to um, plan something in particular. And I feel like in the past, they were really worried about what people would say, but I think for a lot of you, you may feel like, oh, they don't, they're worried about people knowing, but it's not that. It's almost like this person is trying to protect you because they know how um, catty or immature this other energy is. For some of you, you also may be worried about what's being said. What's, what's this gossip around? Can you show me, please? If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It's over um, divine intervention. For some of you, they may be having a lot of people try to talk to this person about what's going on. They could even be talking about the fact that your person is seeking a level of help or that something is definitely changing with inside of your person. They could be even becoming more spiritual, more religious. If your person was religious in the past, there's a lot of conversation going on about their level of spirituality. And it's also about um, your person kind of breaking the mold of what they typically do. And there's a lot of people that are very curious. For some of you, you may be dealing with somebody that's in a high profile job or has a high profile position, whether that's in government, um, social media, it could even be um, in, in, in the industry, in some type of industry, whatever it is, there's people here that feel like your person is separating. For some of you, your person is gonna be embarking on a brand new career or they're separating themselves from a significant group. And that's why there's a lot of gossip over your connection. And I also feel like with this King of Wands energy coming in, Leo energy, your person is very focused, but they're not focused on what other people think they should be focused on. I don't know why I get that. There's something about your person no longer worried about the pack mentality, but they're very concerned with what exactly I want to move forward. They feel like your person is way, and people could even say this about you as well on your end, that there's something here about them being way too focused on love and not paying attention to anything else around them. So there is this gossip that is going around about the things that your person is doing, whether they're turning their back on family, friends, church, past energy, and they're really breaking free. For some of you, this is them breaking generational curses. A lot of you, this person really wants to go on vacation with you. And it's because you've changed this person forever. SS may be significant, SL. You could even flip it L L S L O N N C um, F C G, but there's something here about you really changing the way that your person goes about things. You've changed the way that this person thinks. You've allowed this person to realize that there is something much bigger and something much greater than what's in front of you. And what you've really done is you've inspired this person to live in their authentic truth. Because the reality is this, if you're drawn to this person, person like a moth to a flame, your person may have a lisp, you may have a lisp, I all of a sudden just had a lisp over there and started to stutter, um, but it's something about this person having this brand new cycle where it's, it's, it's allowing them to breathe. I don't know why, but I get that your, your person was very bogged down 
by the responsibility and by the perception of other people. That, for whatever reason, really did dictate how they operated or how they moved in the regular world. But whatever has occurred with you, you've created this lasting change. You've really transformed this person in all senses. You can even look at them and notice that they physically have changed. There's something physically different about them. And a lot of times it's about energy. Your person is... Also, I hate to say this, it's very cliche, but they're going through a very significant um, transformation, right? And in this transformation of the butterfly, the caterpillar will represent our 3D self, right? Our self that's bound to our finances, bound to our family, bound to, um, you know, the things in our day-to-day -day life, right? In our human experience, that is the 3D energy, right? But what your person is beginning to realize is that it's about balance and that there's much more than what meets the eye than just going to work, making money and coming home. Power, whatever, right? Power, money, obligations. This is somebody that's beginning to have a level of elevation and in the elevation, they see the foresight. This person's foresight is being illuminated because their intuition is being heightened because they're watching, right? They're paying attention to what's going on around them. With this trapped energy coming in, your person or you could definitely be in an unpleasant situation where there's a lot of guilt. This is There's multiple messages coming in, so just bear with me as I get them out because there's a lot of people that do watch this, okay? For some of you, this person was really trapped with guilt because they felt like they put you in an unpleasant situation that you didn't deserve to be in. And that was because they were trapped by their own viewpoint, by their own perception, by their own predictive programming, you know, from multiple lifetimes. And this person had to acknowledge that they can break free at any time. For some of you, you may notice that either glass is breaking or a mirror is breaking. If this occurs, what you should realize is instead of getting angry, you should get ex uh, uh, excited and you should uh, say thank you because it's a curse that's breaking or it's something and it's an ending of a negative cycle that's beginning to shatter. Pay attention if it breaks evenly, if it breaks in multiple pieces, does it shatter? Pay attention to the way that breaks or something breaks because I feel like for a lot of you, either this is going to be happening or it did happen in uh, the recent past. For some of you, there was also a person that tried to trap your, your, uh, your person into an unpleasant situation. They didn't want your person to leave, which is also why they're sitting here watching, stalking, fixating, and um, they're trying to guilt trip your person into not leaving them or trying to guilt trip um, your person to remain in this paralyzed state where they're so scared to move forward. And what these people are doing, just like a heads up, this could even be a friend, a family member, um, sometimes our own parents, because of the way that they were raised and they don't understand, sometimes they don't see what you see, right? Different generations. But there's something here where these people or this person either tried to trap you or your person or you guys, if you're mirroring, if you guys are twin flames, you're mirroring one another. So it's not just them on their side. It's, it's, both, it's both sides to the coin here. But what stopped them from coming forward and making you a love offer was because whoever this energy was, they, there was a lot of gossip and a lot of negativity over your person and they were worried about that getting out or it was like they didn't want people to talk about them and it made them anxious. Sometimes all it takes is one person to say something that triggers a, what? Well, mm, maybe, right? Like for instance, oh my gosh, um, did you hear Johnny is X, Y, and Z? Oh, yeah. Right? So then all of a sudden, that begins to go around where Johnny is a warlock. When Johnny's over there going, what do you mean? All I do is meditate every morning. There's nothing about me doing anything like that. But because that narrative was put out, people are talking. And some people are taking the gossip as fact or as truth. 
because it's definitely this gossip over how much your person has changed and how in the past that they were trapped in a situation and it definitely could have been some type of karmic connection you and your person could have also i don't know why the desert is coming in this could be middle east energy this could be arizona nevada um la um i don't know why i just heard like palmdale palm springs like that like there's something here about this karmic connection, right? That's paralyzed this person. This could be a past energy. This could be a mother or father of a child. But what it's done is it's created a lot of unresolved issues or it's created issues and insecurities inside of your person that maybe they didn't have before. So they viewed relationships as unsustainable. They viewed love as something that fades away, something that's not realistic, and I feel like whoever this person is, you and your person could have even been in a karmic cycle because sometimes that does happen where it's full of turbulence, where two people can love each other so much, where you want to understand, you want to know what's going on. But at the end of the day, it's really up to your person to break free. It's up to your person to take away the thorns. Um, and part of taking away the thorns, right? The thorns is what protects us. It protects us from people getting close. It protects us from people being able to touch us, touch our hearts in a way that maybe we haven't beforehand. So this is definitely coming in here where your person just is in a new cycle. It's a lot of love and light. It's a lot of very beautiful energy. It's energy also where your person really wanted to protect you. For some of you, they have a very nasty person around them. You may have a nasty person around you, um, but they really wanted to protect your connection. And I feel like your person is not great at articulating or not great at communicating everything that they're going through or everything that they're dealing with. And this is somebody that learned at a very young age. If you express whatever you know you have going on, people are going to turn their back on you. I also feel like if there's a lot of negativity in this person's life, they wanted to protect you from that, from this. This could even be somebody that could be from a high profile family. And they're very protective over you and very protective over your connection is what it's coming in as. And again, I do feel like there is a lot of energy around you right now that's very angry. I don't know why there's all of this anger. Um, we're going to get into it, definitely. But people are upset over the love offer that's coming in for you and your person. For some of you... They may even feel like they deserve the love offer. It's not you. If you're different than this person, age, race, different than what they typically date. I also feel like people are angry because you're really stepping into your own. Whoever was talking about you at work or what, it's, it's like, I don't know. I just feel like there's people that are talking that you don't even know or that don't even really know you. But there's just this weird narrative that's being spun here within your situation or within your connection. And I do. I think it's because you make your person very happy. Um, I'm definitely getting here that you and your person 100% could uh, be twin flames. And I feel like your person really does love you. There's a level of wholeness that they experience with you that they've never experienced with anybody else, right? But again, I feel like with this energy coming in, you know, you're having, people are talking. You know, like I tell my kids, though, if people aren't talking about you, you're, you're not doing something right. 
because the reality is your energy is very bright and it's very light and people want to know what you're doing because there's an odd sense of curiosity because your energy is different. There's something about you living in your truth, you being a visionary. There's something also about your eyes in particular here. Why is, why, why is there a lot of resentment and a lot of anger? You may even be angry at this person. If that's what could have triggered it, where you got upset with this person because they refused to move forward here with you and that they wanted to stay stuck in this karmic energy. And I get that your person is scared to make you angry. They don't like when you're angry at them. They don't like when they feel like they've let you down and they sure don't like when you kind of put up this shield or put up this armor where um, it pushes them away. That definitely scares them. I also feel like there's some type of conversation coming in with the um, Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords here. Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is Venus and Aquarius. A lot of mind games. There's also, I feel like whoever this, this individual is, there's somebody that's very resent, like resentful because they wanted the love offer. This is coming in as somebody that's very immature and very insecure. So the way that they perceive things, it's kind of skewed. But they feel like... Um, you triggered them. It's something about your energy triggering them. You may not even know this person, but they know you or they think they know you. I also get that part of the thing, you want to know what's crazy? Your person, instead of speaking the truth in a situation, either they went quiet or they didn't tell you what was really happening so it made this person look kind of shady. It made you question what this person's intentions were because I also feel like this person could have gone quiet, but in them going silent, it made them look deceptive where you felt like, oh, you're playing games. You're playing mind games. Like, I don't have time for that. You could have even started to open yourself up to other people Sorry if you guys hear Enzo snoring, but I definitely feel like there's somebody here that wants to reach out to you and wants to have this conversation. Moon and Taurus, this is somebody that's kind of takes her time with love. This could be somebody that's been watching your social media, but not commenting. This could be somebody that's watching from an app that you can't see because there's apps out there where you can watch it, but they want to share something with you. Why is this energy angry? What do we need to know about this angry energy? Karma. Mm, what comes around goes around. Yeah, man. Um, you may have a stage five clinger over here with the seven of swords. Moon and Aquarius. They're definitely watching you, but pretending not to watch you because they feel um, justified in their behavior. They feel like it's not fair. I keep hearing it's not fair though. That's not fair. There's something here about it not being fair. It seems like almost as if a toddler is throwing a tantrum. It's not fair that Jenny got X, Y, and Z. It's not fair that, you know, uh, Tanisha got whatever. It's not fair that Bernice, you know, gets the man and I don't. You know, why does Ryan get X, Y, and Z, but, you know, Stefan or Steven or Steve doesn't get something? Um, for some of you, your person has been in a long-term relationship. They could even be married with somebody that they've been married to for a period of time, but they're in separation and neither of them are enjoying or like one another. This could be you as well. But this is an energy that's definitely in the background that's watching very closely. You may even feel intuitively where they pop up on the people you may know. Or um, this could just be an intuitive energy where you feel like this person is watching. But they feel like it's not fair that you're receiving some type of gift or you're receiving some type of clarity here. 
that they feel like it's not fair because they were beat at their own game is what I heard. And I definitely feel like your person ended a situation with this um, external energy. For some of you, they just want your person's money. And it's just a control thing. This is also somebody that could have stolen something or purposely tried to tell your person, you can't leave. If you leave, then I'll do X, Y, and Z. It's almost coming in as blackmail energy. I'm going to hurt myself type of energy, um, whatever it may be. And it's coming in as your person saying, I don't care. Do whatever you need to do because I'm done within this situation. I'm done hiding my emotions. I know the truth, right? I know what's going on. You're receiving karma. I receive karma because of, you know, the illusions and the uncertainty. However, I know for certain the fact that I want the collective. I know for certain I want this new cycle when it comes to true love because I'm not the same person. Your person is looking at the people around them and they're acknowledging the person you knew a month ago, six months ago, I'm not the same person. My values have changed. I've changed. And it's because your person has really done the work. They've done the work to transform. You have Scorpio energy here. You have Cancer Pisces energy as well. But again, what's what's fascinating here, it's a lot of fixed energy. So um, this is an em energy that was relatively stubborn. So you have um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, but it's also being paired here with Gemini and Pisces energy. So that mutable energy. So this person is changing. Instead of becoming stubborn with the way that they're stuck on things, they're now flexible, Right. And instead of your person being my way or the highway type of energy, this is an energy where they're able to see both sides and they're able to see a level of duality when it does come to your connection. Sevens are coming in heavy. You may be a life path seven. You could be born on the seventh. You could be born in July. 67 or 76 could be significant. 75, 57. Um, but sevens are key here. The 13th in general may be significant as well. But again, 13 is representing multiple significant endings. This person is blocking anybody that is in their pathway that is stopping them from their truth. They're over here. They're blocking this devil energy and they're walking away and they're turning their back. They're saying, you know what? I don't want this anymore. I don't want the illusion of the perfect family. I don't want the illusion of whatever. You can say whatever you want about me. I don't care anymore because at the end of the day, I know that this is tying me to something that is not my purpose. This is also somebody that's done obsessing over things they can't control. This is somebody here that's in a um, Saturn and Pisces energy. Saturn doesn't really like to be in Pisces. This person is tired of always being worried about what consequences they're going to have with being with you or living in their truth instead of just acknowledging that's all smoke and mirrors. That's all an illusion. Because the flip side of it is that if I stay bound to this devil energy, if I stay stuck, Capricorn energy is here, if I stay stuck, right, and if I stay restricted, What's happening to me? What's happening to me is I'm receiving karma anyways because I'm heartbroken and I can't, I, 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 I can't move forward. This is somebody whose heart is really opening up in a way where the floodgates are coming. I don't know why, but that's what I heard. The floodgates are coming with this person and they're having a hard time controlling their emotions and their energy when it does come to you. So this shadow self that they had, these fears, okay, of what am I gonna do about X, Y, and Z, that's all dissipating because your person is sitting here and they're standing on business. Like this is somebody that's saying, oh no, I already know what it is. And I already know who the collective is to me. And I'm going to shout it from the rooftops. And if you like it or you don't, that's on you. That sounds like a personal problem. Your person is putting people in their place. They could be an athlete. They could be a boxer here. <laughs> they could be in sales or telecommunication. They could work in a restaurant. 
whatever it is or an electrician i don't know why i just heard that maybe because of communication telecommunication but there's something here where your person is sitting here saying hey let me um let me tell you something this is something where your person feels like they've been waiting a very long time. For some of you, your person is very meticulous and they've planned their exit with this person for the last couple of years. But they had to do it right. And there's been hiccups along the way, which caused them extra delays with being with you. Aries energy is coming in here. But this is a significant expansion. And your person has been waiting to get out of this five of cups energy. I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to feel like I'm alone. I'm over that. This is somebody that's beginning to understand that um, they, under, they know that there's more to life here and they're closing the cycles because again, with this moon, it's a lot of moon energy. It's a lot of hidden energy. This person's really, um, they've really hidden how they feel about you. Let's get into this extended. I'm really excited. To be honest, like I can't wait. Hold on. Let's get into it. Um, by the way, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I do want to find out what the gossip is. And let's also find out what stopped this person in the past from coming forward. Okay, so I'm going to put these off to the side for a second. Let's do a quick temperature check with your person. What is this person's energy and or what is their energy around their relationship with the collective? What's their overall energy with their relationship with the collective? Okay. Queen of Wands. I love this energy. Aries energy. Anyone that knows an Aries knows an Aries is going to get what they want regardless. If it's a feminine Aries, they're more... Um, inclined to take action very quickly in your face they can be more so like they say they, they say it they do it right where if it's a masculine energy a masculine aries this is an action that's very methodical it's very thought out and it takes a little bit more time than let's say a feminine energy either way there's something here about your person being um hyper fixated or very very um focused Okay, what, what is the energy around the external party, the external energy, the third party, whatever it may be around this person in them? What's the external energy? Four of Cups, okay? So there's a lot of disappointment. Now, I am going to say this. Sometimes we can be disappointed in how people act, right? Because I feel like this isn't just disappointment on the third party end about your person changing, but I also feel like there's disappointment on your person's end because they were really worried about how these people were going to view things. And I feel like your person doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But at the same point in time, your person is comparing you and them. You and whoever this energy is. The way that you think, the way you speak to them, whatever it may be. Okay, we're also going to find out what exactly is being said about you. Um, what's the real gossip here? Because I feel like there's something juicy in the details. This could be if you and this person have a child together. If people could even say that you have a child together um, or they could think that you guys have been hiding something or hiding a connection. There's people that are also talking about your past and past of this person. I'm also going to tap into um, exactly what stopped this person in the past from coming forward. Why have they really held back? Is it because, you know, they're worried about their family's um, exception? Is it because they had friends and family and a lifestyle holding them back? So we're really gonna dive deep here and what stopped your person from moving forward. Your person could be uh, paralyzed or there could be something here that makes them immobile or stop them from coming forward. So we're definitely gonna jump into what this is. Now, before we continue, all of this is going to be available on the extended. The extended is available on Vimeo. The link for that will be in the comment section below. Um, it's a great, if this reading resonates so far with you, definitely check out the extended because the extended goes 
even deeper. And we talk about things we really can't talk about. So it's a great way for you to get more information on your situation from a 3D perspective. So boots on the ground, right? Where you can really also see what your person is going through, what they're thinking about and how they're planning on moving forward with inside of this connection. So the extendeds are great if this is something um, that resonates with your story and you want to go deeper. This is like um, the extended are a more personal uh, reading in some senses. Okay. All right. Let's let's keep it going. Okay. So what is this person? What are they? What are they focused on? What are they fixated on? Reunion. Hello. Can I come in? There's a lot of emotions with this person. There's some type of significant change with Uranus and the 12th house that's coming forward. They want to have an expression of love here. They want a second chance. They're very focused on the past. So for some of you, you may have known this person as children. You may have children that are in the same sport or you may have met them through your kids. You may have children with them. But this is coming in as them really reminiscing and wanting to be with you, okay? Oh, by the way, in the extended, we go over everything. So you're thinking, what does that mean? In, in, in that sense, everything in the sense of we pull extra messages, we pull oracle messages, we really figure out what exactly the energy is. But I get that there's a lot of change. Have you guys felt the change? Will you put it in the comment section below? By the way, the winners are being announced on Tuesday, um, Taco Tuesday for uh, whatever is going on with the collective, okay? All right, let's keep going. How does this person um, view the collective? How do they view the collective? What's their perception of the collective right now? They're really in their head, but guess what? They want to come in here with this emperor energy. Okay, come through emperor. This is somebody that wants to come in and control this situation because they don't want the situation to control them. And they're done being in this energy where they're bound, where they're stuck, where they're upset, where this just isn't working for them. So that's coming in um, very, very heavy. What is the collective not expecting that they need to know about? Uranus, I told you, there's some type of crazy change that's coming in within the next four weeks I just heard. 44 may be significant. You may be seeing a lot of fours. Or even 11, 11, 11, the gates of heaven. But there's some type of seismic shift. And it's coming in all of a sudden. That's going to like blow you away when it does come to this person to the point where you're like, what just happened? What just occurred? Okay. And um, what is the collective... What is this person's um, intentions with the collective romantically? What's their intentions with the collective romantically? Okay, it's the world. This wanted to come up in reverse. I'm going to put it upright. It seems like if there was a cycle that was closed out between you and this person, they want to reopen it. They're coming back around. They want a new chance to really change the narrative of your connection. Sagittarius, they want to expand with you. They want to see if you and them still have that spark. So with that being said, this is your reading. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. It really does mean the world to me. Um, if you guys want to check out the extended, all of that information will be in the comment section below. You click on the link, it takes you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase uh, the extended. Um, also to check out membership reads. And if you want to book a personal reading, you can always um, go on my website. All of that information will be in the description as well as most of the cards that I use. All of that will also be in the description too. Um, so with that being said, I love you guys so much. Happy, happy Monday. 
And um, for those of you guys that are coming over to Vimeo, let's roll. Simply click on the link in the comment section below and it will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended. Until next time, my loves, um, I will talk to you later.